is Miri Ruland. I'm 14 years old and I'm going into ninth grade at Cypher High School. My confirmation verse is James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. It states, Count all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, and that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. James wrote these words around 48 AD. He wrote this to Christians far and near, speaking to the rich and the poor, visitors and believers of the church. He also wrote it to Christians who are sick and elders in the church. It talks about the testing of our faith and how we can overcome trials with strength and trust in God. It tells us that we need to remember in Jesus Christ when we meet trials and that we will not fall into the tricks of the devil when we trust in him. He describes that we need to have perseverance in a situation in which we are struggling and that we can persevere no matter, no matter the problems or obstacles in our way. When I was baptized, I was forgiven for my sins and cleansed, which reminds me to persevere and have faith in tough situations. It greatly focuses that we should have faith in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in situations in which we are in doubt. I'm so grateful to have faith and trust in Jesus because he has done so much for me. He gave his life up just so I could live and my sins would go away. Jesus blessed me with an amazing family, friends, and church. This verse reminds us to persevere over obstacles and overcome them with trust in God. That can be hard for most of us to overcome or to accept something, but we just need to trust in Him. The coronavirus has impacted us greatly this year and has caused all kinds of obstacles for us to overcome with our faith. It has made all, a lot of things change in our lives, such as schools to switch from in-person to online, having to socially distance from people when you go places, people being laid off from their jobs, and loved ones to pass from the illness, and countless more. As you can tell, it has affected many people in bad ways. We could not have predicted any of this, but what we can do is have faith and pray. It's hard for all of us to try and stay quarantined and not go out, or for some, they can get sick. But even with this obstacle, the coronavirus, we are still worshiping and trusting in God by watching church and praying for people who are sick and for all people to stay safe and healthy. By worshiping and having faith, we will overcome this obstacle, an obstacle that almost seems impossible. As a child of God who is growing in my faith and discovering new things, learning through God about through confirmation, I plan to stay with my faith strongly through my whole life and pass it on to other people. I have a strong faith in God today and through all days, through my worst and my best, and I try to stay strong and encourage others through their obstacles and doubts. In my life, I want to help other people's faith become stronger. When times get tough through school, through work, through illness, and through deaths, we need to have faith in God so that we can build our trust and overcome obstacles. Through this verse, I've learned a lot, and I will carry this with me through my whole life and hopefully help others with it. I'm so thankful for the people in my life, including my family, friends, and church that have supported me through my faith and through my confirmation.